Okay. Yeah. A question here from uh, from Marco. Um, I didn't fully understand if this ties into Composer install or whether it is a separate tool to run that uses Composer to resolve dependencies too. Uh, James, do you want to answer that? Sure. Yes. It it is a it is indeed a separate tool. Um, mm -hmm. We what what I say by uh, what I mean by saying it uses Composer is like we use the the code that runs Composer as well. So there'll be a separate tool that uh, pulls in um, dependencies and so on, uh, yeah, what, your, your extension and so on, uh, and, and installs that. So separate tool to Composer. A Composer install won't um, won't be installing extensions as such. So uh, it's it's completely separate process. Right. Can I can I from from a project's perspective, like a, a, a PHP's composer JSON file, you can already specify extensions. Will there be some way to like uh, automatically check your composer JSON file and install uh, extensions when needed? Is that something that's that's planned here as well? It's definitely something we've discussed because uh, okay. it seems like a natural pro progression, uh, mm. but is is something we need to think about carefully. I think because there's there's um, you know the big difference with a composer JSON as it stands for a project at the moment yeah. is you are installing your project specific dependencies. Um, PHP extensions are not project specific at the moment; they're global on your system. Yeah. Uh, so managing those is kind of a, it, it, it's a different. Um, uh, different set of processes, uh, if you like. So making sure uh, that we um, respect that, you know, extensions are global. It means that, you know, if you look at a project, you can see, uh, you know, Composer tells you at the moment if you've got that extension installed or not. Um, you know, there is potential scope for, for you know, suggesting would you like to use Pi to the, the new Peckle tool to uh, to install this extension. But uh, certainly at the moment, you know, we, we've we've kind of agreed that it doesn't make sense to, to bake that into Composer uh, at this stage. Not to say it wouldn't happen in the future. We just mean, need to make sure it happens in the right way so that we're you know, not breaking everything, right? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think like Thomas, who is going to space apparently, um, also asked about is like, how, how would this work on shared servers? And uh, from what you're seeing here, uh, I think nothing much will change. Um, like it's still installing extensions globally. So on shared servers, I would assume like his assistant administrator would have to manage all of that. Yes, uh, un unfortunately, at this stage, nothing changes there really. Um, it's, mm. This is, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a new tool uh, that's going to be replacing Peckle, uh, yeah. but there's certainly scope for looking into things um, uh, to, to, you know, project specific extensions and being able to install things on on shared hosts. I know a lot of shared hosts do have ways of, you know, plugging in uh, e extensions and so on as you require them. So right, okay, interesting. Um, Bernard is asking here: Can we dream of a world where extensions could be project specific, not global? I assume you might have already touched the topic during those discussions you had. Um, you want to share any thoughts on that? Yeah, it, it, it absolutely is um, something that, that we've discussed. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I've discussed this with Gina as well, uh, also on the PHP Foundation. And, you know, just, you know, there's there's things to overcome, like how how extensions get loaded and so on is, um, you know, is, is a... Uh, part of the PHP's life cycle. So when you mm. uh, start up an extension, there's two stages to starting an extension. There's starting the module, uh, which happens like once when you start a, for example, if you're using PHP FEM, it would start mm. the PHP FBM uh, and it would uh, do what's called a module in it. Mm. Um, and then separately for each request, you have a request in it and then a request shutdown once that yeah. finishes. And then once you've killed the PHP process, uh, or like PHP FBM, for example, that would Call the module shutdown. So, right. what that allows extension main maintainers to do is um, basically provide persistence between requests, and mm -hmm. you know, not have to load everything every time we have a request, which is kind of it's it's it goes against how PHP works, or right. you think yeah. PHP works, where you know it's a shared nothing architecture, mm -hmm. whereas extensions can um, you know uh, overcome that barrier and share things between requests. So. Um, you know, moving extensions to project-specific architecture, it's possible, but there are things to overcome, right. like like how do we keep that persistence, or do we want to keep that persistence, or do we want yeah. to 
you know, th there's a lot of questions about that. Um, it's theoretically possible, of course, uh, but just whether it's practical is is another question. Uh, gotcha. And it's it's something we've we've discussed. Would love to do, but I think is at least for the initial scope is 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 not included. Definitely, but we can dream of a world where we just write composer install in a project and just everything gets installed. Extensions would be cool. Right. Oh, nice.